be sharing an influencer box box unboxing with you. So I get to be a part of the I Do Influencer box because I'm getting married this summer. So it's basically, I got one similar to this last year because I was going to be in a wedding. So if this is like if you're going to attend a wedding or be in a wedding or have a wedding, you are qualified to get this box. If you don't know what Influencer is, basically you attach all your social media to this website and then they send you little surveys and they send you boxes of free stuff to try out and share with about on your social media. So I've done unboxings for them before. I will link a referral in the down bar if you're interested in checking it out. It's pretty awesome. I like getting these different boxes and trying stuff out. Um, I've gotten like a face cream before that I loved. I've gotten lots of different stuff. I've gotten like panty liners and food and just lots of different stuff. So. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what's in it. So the first thing that I have in this box is this Indeed Labs Nano Blur, which is like a primer. This usually sells for $19.99, and it's supposed to help give your skin an airbrush look, and it's supposed to help mattify for high definition looks. My wedding is coming up in a week from today, so <laughs> a week from today, and so I am interested in trying this out. It's supposed to help with things like fine lines, wrinkles, and enlarged pores, so that's always good. I'm a little bit scared to try this out in case my skin reacts, but I think I might because it sounds like it could be really, really good. Um, so yeah, I will definitely try that out and let you guys know. If I end up using it for my wedding, I do intend to do a wedding makeup look at some point, probably not before my wedding, but after my wedding. So I will let you guys know if I ended up using this and what my thoughts were. It does feel very silicone-y, but it's kind of cool that even on my hand, I can see like the lines and the pores on my hand disappear. So that's pretty cool. I will definitely let you guys know how that goes. The next thing that I have in here is something that I've always wanted to try, but I never have. This is the Neutrogena Hand Cream, and it says it's the Norwegian formula. So this is usually retails for $3.99, but it varies by different retailers. And I think this is the hand cream that Kristen Game talks about all the time. So it's supposed to be fragrance free, which is awesome. Whoa. And it's not like a lotion, it's like a clear, I don't know if you guys can even see it, it's right here. It's like, it's almost like Vaseline, but it does not have a smell. So, okay, that's pretty cool. So if my hands are super, super dry, this is supposed to be really good. And this is supposed to last for over 200 applications. So, so far so good. I've liked the first two products that I've gotten and I definitely will get use out of them. The next thing that I'm really interested to try out is this, and I've tried it out just a little bit. You can see the foundation on the cap. But this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay, F Stay Luminous Foundation, and this one usually retails for $11.30. Um, this one's in the color 820, which I was worried was going to be a little bit too dark for me, but I think it's actually going to be a good color for me usually. Um, I tried it on earlier this week after I self-tanned, and it was too light then, so I think it'll probably be a good match for me every day. I think I'm in 810 in the um, Stay Fabulous formula that I really, really liked. This I've heard mixed reviews on, so I will definitely do a review for you guys over how this goes for me because I do have oilier skin. So I've heard this is not great for oilier skin, but I will try it out and let you guys know for sure. The other CoverGirl product that we got in this box is the CoverGirl Outlast Lipstick. This usually retails for $9.80. This is in the color Plum Fairy or $9.50, and it is a kind of shimmery red color. So that's interesting. I don't know if this is one that I would reach for usually. I will try it out and see how it goes, but it is not one that in a store I would definitely go for. Um, definitely not for my wedding day. Probably not. Next up, there are two different food products in here. The first one is a pack of Shahale Snacks. They're glazed almonds with cranberry, cranberries, honey, and sea salt. These usually sell for $27.46 for 18 of them. Usually, so if it was just one of them, it'd be about a dollar and a half. And these are grab and go snacks. They're the perfect for grabbing on the go. So these I will definitely take with me. I'm leaving to go stay with my mother-in-law for the next week because the wedding is going to be on Saturday. We're going to stay with her, finish anything that's up beforehand, and then get ready for the wedding. And so it'll always be good to have snacks like this around. I will definitely try these out and see how they go. I like almonds and I like cranberries, so I think those look like they'll be delicious. The other food product that we got is a Skinny Girl Tasty Nutrition Bar. So this is in the flavor Lemon Swirl. It's supposed to have 150 calories. Normally, the, I assume a box of these would sell for $4.99. And it's supposed to help keep your energy up, but it's healthy, it's kosher, it's gluten-free. 
I'm not the biggest fan of lemon, but I will definitely take this with me as well for a snack for while I'm there and eat it unless you guys know how it goes. The last thing in my box is something that I've never heard of that I think is super interesting. This is the Urgent RX Ache and Pain Relief. So it says that usually this is gonna be $1.39. And I don't know if that means like one of these or like a whole pack of these. Basically what this does is if you have aches or pains, you just pour this powder directly onto your tongue and it's supposed to help your aches and pains so you don't need to carry like a bottle of pills around with you or anything like that. It's supposed to help with muscle pain, arthritis pain, headaches, fever, things like that. So yeah, this one is in the flavor Lemon Lime. I am curious to see how that goes. I might try it out at some point. I've been getting headaches kind of frequently lately, so I'm sure that this will come into use sometime in the next week. So I will also let you guys know how that goes. So if you guys are interested in seeing how some of those things go, I will plan on doing a review of the foundation on this channel. I will plan on letting you guys know if I use the um, Nano Blur Primer or not on my wedding when I do my makeup looks. But if you're interested in anything else and seeing how I feel about those, I will probably do those on other social media, probably either Twitter or Instagram or something like that. So if you're interested in seeing those, I will link my Twitter and Instagram down below if you're interested in checking those out. Um, if you guys have had any experience with any of these products before and you wanted to let me know what you thought of them, I would love to hear that in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.